What's going on guys, it's high, and it's still very cold, wet, and rainy here in Washington, but I'm currently making plans for a fire pit area on the property. After some research, I've decided on the East Oak Pan Stove Fire Pit. This particular one is the chisel steel 29 inch version, but there's also a 17 inch and 21 inch version. All three sizes are also available in a black finish. If you don't hang outside a lot, this may not be what you'd think a fire pit would look like. You'd probably be more familiar with a concrete circle or some of the other options as shown. But in recent years, these newer stainless steel fire pits have really taken off and that's largely because many claim to be smokeless. This is achieved by utilizing a double wall design with vent holes towards the top of the inner wall. As you burn wood or whatever else, that first burn will cause smoke to rise up, but some of it will travel through the gaps between the walls and escape out the smaller vent holes. This escaping smoke will get burned again, essentially eliminating it. However, a key factor in all of this is going to be how big or hot the fire is. The fire has to be pretty strong to get that second burn going. And a nice thing about the East Oak design is that it features a bunch of oxygen intakes around the entire base and directly under the fire pit. All these intakes should really help to oxygenate the fire and help it get hot enough for that second burn. So that double walled vented design is pretty common with all of these smokeless fire pits. But an annoyance to me is that this design generally does not produce a lot of heat outwards, but instead projects it upwards. This means that if you're standing up and are close to the fire pit, then your upper body will be warm, but your lower legs and feet won't get much. So if you're sitting down, you're really only enjoying the ambiance of the fire, not so much the warmth. Some manufacturers have created a workaround for this like Solo Stove with their heat deflector shields, but personally I think this is stupid. The heat deflector adds extra bulk and is unsightly and costs an additional couple hundred bucks on top of the already expensive fire pit. But times have changed and there are now manufacturers making smokeless fire pits that do a good job radiating heat outwards without any add-ons, one of them being East Oak. I don't particularly understand the science behind it, but this is apparently accomplished because the East Oak design features a wider circular base that gets smaller towards the top and the opening turns into a more squarish shape. Again, I don't really understand how that works, but it supposedly does and I'll test that out a bit later in this video. In terms of assembly, this fire pit is pretty much ready to go. You have the main fire pit body, the ash tray that sits inside the fire pit, and the flame ring that sits on top. There really isn't much to putting the fire pit together. At this point, I think we got all of the informational stuff out of the way, so let's get a fire going and see how well this fire pit actually works. For size reference, I have a bundle of wood that I purchased from my local Safeway. It's been sitting outside under the patio for the last couple of months and should be fairly dry. I'm just going to make things quick and throw everything in. As you can see, this 29 inch fire pit not only has a large opening, but it's also deep, allowing for a lot of wood to be burned at once. My bundle looks like a bunch of twigs in there. Hopefully there's enough wood to get that secondary burn going because this is all the wood that I have for now. Okay, now that the fire is going and I've had a chance to use this fire pit, what do I think? In terms of being a smokeless fire pit, it certainly isn't smokeless throughout the entire experience. When the fire first starts, there will still be smoke that's blowing around, but that's not something exclusive to the East Oak, but pretty much any fire pit. However, once the wood really started to burn, I did notice that there was really no trace of smoke at all. This is the case even though I never personally experienced any secondary burn. Maybe I didn't have enough wood burning, I can't really say, so this will require some more testing. In terms of East Oak advertising that this fire pit is able to radiate heat sideways, this is a hit or miss depending on how you want to look at it. I personally feel that there was no heat radiating directly from the sides of the fire pit. I can put my hands right up to the sides and basically feel no difference. The metal itself gets quite hot if you try to touch it, but it really does not radiate any noticeable heat. The chairs that you see in this video are less than two feet away from the fire pit, and I was originally worried that they were too close and would get damaged by the heat, but that is absolutely not a concern anymore. The chairs stayed chilled the entire time from ambient temperature and never even got warm. However, if I were to sit at the edge of the chair and my body pokes above the top of the fire pit, then I'd feel a lot of heat. Being about two feet away, the heat is almost unbearable. I would say that standing up and stepping back four to five feet away, I can still feel the warmth on my torso, arms, and my head, but again, nothing on my legs. 
I kind of want to give East Oak the benefit of the doubt and say that this fire pit may radiate more heat if more wood was burned at once, but I feel like I did put a decent amount of wood in there, and if I had to burn two or three of those bundles at once just to get some lateral heat, then this isn't exactly the most efficient way of keeping warm. So just take all that information as you will. At the end of the day, how do I feel about the East Oak fire pit? As a mostly smokeless fire pit, it gets a pass because it does a job even when the secondary burn doesn't kick in, and who knows what it does, maybe it gets even better. As a fire pit that keeps you warm, well that depends on if you want to sit or stand all night. I personally bought this fire pit because it was advertised as being able to radiate heat outwards, and in this case I would say that the East Oak is a total failure. I do not recommend it if you are buying this fire pit to keep yourself warm while sitting down, it just won't cut it. To me, the question of buying the East Oak all comes down to price. I personally bought it on sale for around $200, and for that price for a 29-inch smokeless fire pit is crazy value. However, when not on sale, this fire pit regularly sits around $400 to $500, and for that price, I would personally not buy it, and I would just go with a solo stove Yukon, which is in the same price range, but the solo stove is better supported in the sense that more companies make accessories for it, and you can do more with it, I guess, if you're willing to spend more money. And that's going to be it. I'm going to continue and use my ESO fire pit. I kind of know what it's capable of now and what I want to use it for. So I'm not too disappointed with my purchase. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up. Share it around. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a member of this channel or become a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.